all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing part three of our how to use special tools series stay tuned so today this is the tool that we are going to be taking a look at and it's called a boroscope and I'm going to be showing you not only how to use this tool, but I'm um, going to explain some of the things that you might want to use this tool for. And um, just to kind of recap what this series is all about, is to show someone who's interested in cars or interested in learning how to work on cars, how to use some of these specialty tools that they may find themselves needing to use when they're out in the field. Um, sometimes you may have never even heard of these tools that I'm showing you and that's kind of the whole point of the series is to expose you to different types of tools that you may not be familiar with and how to use them so let's go ahead and get started all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it all hooked up here so this is of course going to be our display the main unit of it. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn it on. Um, just got a simple on and off button. You've got a couple buttons here. Um, one of them makes the light dimmer. The other one makes the light brighter. And that's going to control the light on the end of this. So what this tool is, is it's basically a camera on a stick. And I'm going to try my best to kind of show you what that looks like here. We'll turn this on for a second. Oh, I guess I can't. Okay. Well, you can kind of see there's a camera and there's also some lights around the edge of the camera. And what this is used for primarily is to obviously look into places that you can't normally see. Um, the main place you're going to be looking is inside of a cylinder of an engine to check for um, any kind of cylinder scoring. Um, you can sometimes check for bent valves with this tool. You can see if there's any coolant in the cylinder. Um, you can check a number of different conditions um, with this tool by looking inside of the um, cylinder. So you can kind of see there that it's displaying some data. You can kind of see my uh, my uh, bicycle helmet up there and the sun on my little banner covering up the window. So now I'm going to uh, take us over to kind of a more practical application which is going to be an actual engine. Here you go. You can kind of see the lights are on and if I uh, I'll bring this over here I press this button here. Oh, I guess that one's for the screen itself. Okay, that makes sense. It's been a second since I've used this. And then that'll flip the uh, camera around. That's going to reverse it. It rotates the image. I think that is actually changing the light. It's got to. There we go. Okay, the middle one changes the light output. And then the other one changes the screen itself. It's been a minute since I've used this thing. So I try to keep the screen in the middle. And then that light... Looks like we got six stages of light. You can actually kind of see that I'm filming myself here with the camera. <laughs> right on. So let's go ahead and take this thing over to an engine. Alright, so the engine that we're going to be using today is that of my Snapper Push Lawn Mower. And the reason I'm not using a real car is because it's rainy and dark outside and um, for the purposes of this video I think that this particular engine 
will work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead, zoom us in a little, and adjust the camera angle for you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the spark plug. And then once I get that out, we're going to be able to see inside the engine with the boroscope. Man, this extension is bent. That's funny. Look at that. <laughs> it's twisted big time. I got some uh, tools from my grandpa recently. Um, a lot of it's just stuff that I already had, but I was happy to take some extras, and he wasn't going to be using it anymore, and I wanted to get some stuff for the garage, so I threw this extension in there. Didn't have too many of those in here. I didn't realize it was bent that bad. Wow, look at that thing. Maybe you can't see it with it zoomed in still, but it is definitely bent. So we got our spark plug out here. Just in case you can't see, I'm actually looking at the screen now. We'll show that one more time. This has, of course, nothing to do with the video, but wow. Very twisted indeed. So let me go grab that tool real quick. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert the boroscope into the spark plug hole. We're going to turn it on. I'm gonna try to angle this here. We'll turn the light on its full brightness. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We're gonna try. Okay, so right there, you can even see the threads on the spark plug hole there. Oop, I slipped out, okay. There we go. And see, now we are inside the cylinder Except I think that the piston is relatively high up in its travel because I can't go much farther down. But you can actually see, oh, I slipped that again, dang it, sorry guys. Yeah, you can actually see the top of the piston, the carbon deposits and everything like that. Not really too sure what that shiny thing is in there though. I don't know if it got dinged by something or... If that was from when I hit it with the, yeah, that was from when I hit it with the camera, knocking carbon off the top of the motor. Another thing we could do is look inside the exhaust. I don't know if that's going to show us anything or not, but I mean, you can definitely use this to check for certain things. Another thing that comes to mind actually with doing that is you can actually use this tool to take um, an O2 sensor out and you can point it down into the catalytic converter and you can actually tell if the you know catalytic converter is destroyed that honeycomb material it breaks up over time and uh, that's one of the telltale signs of a bad catalytic converter is that that stuff on the inside is all crumbled up and torn apart so it's another uh, valuable test that you can use um, when you're using this boroscope. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to put this spark plug back in real quick. Definitely don't want to forget to put your spark plugs back in when you're uh, using your boroscope to look inside cylinders. Now this dang thing is crooked. Not letting me put it in straight. There we go. Go ahead and tighten her up. All right, plug it in. Perfect. Also, I forgot to mention if you're interested in buying one of these tools, they do sell them with a bottom or just straightforward camera like mine has, but some of them also have 
a side camera that enables you to see the cylinder walls much better than the one I have. When I bought the one I have, I was not aware that the side camera ones existed. So I did want to point that out for you guys that if you're interested in picking one up, I would strongly recommend getting one that also has the side camera. Alright guys, and that's going to be the end of part 3 of our How to Use Special Tools series. Stay tuned for part 4. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. And uh, if you have a boroscope, let me know what's the craziest thing you've ever seen with the camera. See you next time.